there's an advantage at hand, so I'm hoping that whatever the challenge is, it's going to be in my favour. Walking into that kitchen, my stomach was doing absolute backflips, totally nervous and shaky and I'm absolutely freaking out. We told you yesterday that you were going to come into this kitchen and achieve things you never thought possible. For some of you today, this will be that day. You are about to have one of those experiences that MasterChef contestants talk about for the rest of their lives. Some people are destined to change the way we think about things. Picasso, Einstein, Tupac. <laughs> They're all pioneers. They break convention. They make us, I don't know, look at stuff differently. And today I can't tell you how excited we are to be joined by one such innovator. The chef who's changed the way the whole world thinks about Italian food. He's a former law student who quit his studies to follow his dream of being a chef. His story should resonate with every single one of you. What he's achieved should be a window into where potentially you all could go. This chef combines his regional Italian heritage with classical French technique. His restaurant Italy has three Michelin stars. It's been named the third best restaurant in the world. Oh my God, it's going to be Massimo Bottura. Please welcome, from Austria, Francescana Massimo Bottura. You've got to be kidding me. This is a dream come true. One of the best chefs in the world. It's just walking into the kitchen. A little bit overwhelming. This is only our second day in the MasterChef kitchen, and in walks a legend. Oh, the stakes have just gone through the roof. I can't believe it's actually him. Unbelievable. Can't believe I'm in the same room as him. These 24 contestants are uh, leaving behind a whole range of careers. You did exactly the same thing. You were, you were a lawyer. Um, yeah, I was. And you decided you had to become a chef. Tell us that story. Food was always my passion, but I had a father that was like explaining to every single child that you have to be an engineer, you have to be a doctor, I had to be a lawyer. I was like really frustrating. I was working with in the, in my father's company and uh, I wasn't happy at all. So my brother and my mom, they pushed me to follow one of my passions. And one week later, I had a small trattoria in the middle of nothing. I, I start from there. I start with a big heart, with a lot of energy and a lot of passion. I wrote a, a little sentence in my book. Live your life as a dream. If you can dream it, you can make it. Master, if there was one dish for you that defines all the greatness of Italian cuisine, what would it be? Oh, it's one, one dish is impossible, you know. But, you know, but can be the crunchy part of the lasagna, the corner, uh, burn corner of the lasagna is maybe the the dish that defines perfectly who I am because it's a it's just a, the emotional part of the old big pan of lasagna that the grandmother usually put in the middle of the table and everyone is fighting for that crunchy part on the top. <laughs>